16 to 8 14. Barnes, who's uh, played very well. Brownless overruns it. Gasper. Good. To Considine. Goes wide. Bays. Mooney back on the ground. Well done, McGrath. Very well done, McGrath, because they had the numbers, but he did give it up. Daniels needs an accurate kick. Chips it. Gets it to Creswell. Creswell needs an accurate kick. Comes wide. Luff, the target gets him. He's kicked four up. Now, this will test him. He's going to kick on 50. You would doubt whether he'll get it. But uh, who knows? I mean, he's really contributed tonight. He must be have a high adrenaline rate right now. And it might lift him home. They'll make a noise if Luff can go here. Needs his absolute best. Don't know if he's ever kicked five goals in an AFL game. I wouldn't have thought he has. Not bad. Not bad. Out of nine, I mean, oh. uh, it, this, the goals have been pretty hard to get, haven't they? If he's kicked five, he's got to be in the three or four best on the ground, sure. Well, he's going to get close. jared has got to do the sports world votes in a moment, and uh, but if he gets one more, he is bugged, isn't he? Oh, well, isn't it amazing? Like, it has been an atrocious game as far as the skills, but if the scoreboard's close, the excitement factors oh, always you, You'll there. never lose the supporters. So back at the centre of the ground, oh, good the ground. bounce favours Barnes. Barnes gets a big fist to it. Knocked back there by Kelly, he's tough in the clinches. Doreen gathers, kicks it across to the wing, and a mark taken by Kapler. He looks to play on, and he can do so now. With that left foot, this is a beautifully weighted kick. And Bruce, you may get your wish. Luck who's kicked five. This is the similar distance, but just on the other side of centre-half forward from his previous shot at goal. Ruse preparing to come back. Luff, we see, take a diving chest mark. Well, you'd have to say he's a chance from here if he kicked the last one. Big chance. For certainty, Robbo. Just changing my votes here. Five goals out of nine. It could be six out of ten. A match-winning performance by the last-minute replacement for Tony Lockett. He goes for goal. <laughs> kicked six goals out of ten for the Swans. They now lead by seven points, but the game is far from over. Six minutes left. Can that catch come back? Good play, Kapler here, Jared, wasn't it? Yeah, the Swans have just steadied uh, after Geelong got that uh, goal. They've just come back. They've fired a couple in through Troy Luff. Now they're in the box seat. Ruth's getting ready to come back on. Barnes with a big fist. The lead has changed hand 14 times in this match. Oh, so great tackle. Away. It was a beauty. He's a desperado, that guy. Huskis. He's a it. mighty little midget. Gives away a handball to Considine. Oh, oh. The history repeats itself here. Considine, Ablett goes for the kick. Gee, Considine was brave then. And Kappa runs it out. Now, Ed Considine has had a really good night, but under that sort of pressure, you don't give a one-yard handball, or you don't call for a one-yard handball. Yeah, he's just uh, giving it up to him. We've got to stop Geelong here in the next couple of minutes, aren't they? Because if they can hold Geelong for a couple of minutes and keep a couple of goal margin, seven points it is at the moment. Seymour, back to Gray, caught Gray. Oh, Higgins, Huskis, quick kick. Only as far as the Rose have made a mistake, the little 17-year-old couldn't hold it. Ruse on the ground, Lord's come onto the ground, good handle. Brewer, a good finisher, misses, goal the difference at the Sydney Cricket Ground. Aaron, Aaron Lord just uh, replaced Liam Pickering. 1-1 one, one to Brewer. So I repeat, 14 times in this match, the lead has changed hands. On three occasions, scores have been leveled. There's a goal the difference, 10-14 to 9-14. Paul Couch remains on the half-back flank. Ruse, where's he playing? Jared in front of us at the moment as you cross half forward centre wing. Plenty of drama at the Sydney Cricket Ground. A game of football still to be won. The Swans have the advantage. A good mark from the kick in by Darren Gasper. It's been a good battle, hasn't it? Yes, it's been very interesting between those two players, Billy Brownless and Gasper. The kick to half forward. A contest there. It rebounds back to Couch. Couch can't get past. He's caught. Well caught. And taken away by Mooney back on the ground. His kick is ordinary. Chopped 
off by Barnes. Barnes goes in towards the centre. It's taken there by Simpson. A sweeping hand pass. Tanner down inside five minutes. Tanner, beautiful kick finds Ablett. And surely you'd back Gary in this situation. Been difficult to kick goals at either end. Ablett has kicked one and that was probably the first goal for the Cats, wasn't it? Kicked by Gary Ablett very early in the game. He's kicked three behinds as well. No trouble whatsoever with the distance, unless he stubs his foot. And a pretty good kick for accuracy, it's a goal. Tonight. Ground free kick, I think, to Kelly in the centre. Yep. Mooney's gone into the ruck for the Swans. So all square, under four minutes remaining. Absolute thriller here. Bays is the target, Mansfield McGrath. Bays has got it. Well, he'll get the distance on the run. And misses the lot. Gee, anything would have been handy. Oh, no, gets a point. Sorry, gets a point. That is handy. Plenty of time, I know, but goals have been hard to get. 10, 15, Again, 10, I query whether that goal umpire could have made a decision. He was way over near the far goal post. Importantly, if the Swans can just manage a rebound goal here, it'll be two scores that Geelong need. To Rosa, the 17-year-old from the Western Jets. Centre wing, Ruse. Oh, punch it. Huskis, Couch, had a quiet one. Oh, well done, Couchy, though, to Colbert. A bounce. Inside to Lord. Takes his man on. Yep. Goes towards goal. Ablett gets to the front. Well done. Oh, free kick Ablett. Yep, was there. Grabbed him by the arm. It's just down here on the uh, half forward flank for the Sydney Swans where I thought Adam Huska should have just punched the ball forward. And now we see the free kick unfolding. Pretty tough on it, uh, Robbo, but perhaps it was there. You didn't think so? Oh, I just think in a tight game like this, you know, you can afford to just let a few things like that go. Yeah, I think if they're there, though, you've got to play them. Fair enough. He's kicked two, Ablett, and he's kicked the last one. And he's about to pick, put to Geelong in front, you reckon, for sure. He has three goals to Ablett. Still plenty of time left. I mean, it, it, it just gets back to the crucial situation back at the centre, doesn't it? Well, if you're going to back anybody, I'd go for Paul Kelly to take this one out of the centre. They certainly do need it. Uh, a quick exit from the middle. The Swans just over two minutes of football to play. A couple of goals could be scored in that time, but uh, Paul Ruse now just pushing himself up into the centre. The Swans have got five men in there, but just out in time. So we reiterate how critical it becomes in tight situations, these centre bounces. Barnes has been terrific in the last five or six minutes. Kepler gathers the ball and swings the hand pass, but only as far as Barnes. He gathers again. Higgins dispossessed by Hinkley, and the ball in dispute at centre-half forward for Geelong. Down to two minutes remaining, and the Cats lead by five points. 80 plays 75. And see the time ticking away there as the umpire prepares to bounce. Taken there by Mooney. His kick is high out towards the wing. Nearly the mark to Ruse. Tried it one-handed. De Rosa, little kick. And not much talking back there. Higgins bashes it in front of himself over for a boundary throw in 50 metres from the Geelong goal. Stafford back on the ground. Mooney off. Five points to the Cats. In the pocket, free kickers at the Barnes. Again, Stafford have just come off the interchange to make the contest. Now, Barnsey is going to kick from 50. And you'd think a goal here would really make it tough. It's going to go short. Brewer, who's about uh, a couple of metres closer, but much better angle. And precious seconds ticking away, Bruce. Geelong are five points in front. 11-14 to 10-15. Brewer at the 50 it's not going to be a score big fly was from Ablett Brownless Hinkley caught holding it going to be a ball up well, the Swans have got to get it clear now it's less than a minute remaining and if Geelong can even force a behind it would make it very difficult for Sydney to actually win 
ducking his head was uh, McRae. Hinkley's in there. And seconds tick away. Kelly and Hinkley. Clock coming down. Clean possession for Sydney. Their only chance now. They've got to get it away to hurry. We're inside the last half minute. Brownless. Considine. Huskis needs it to sit. He's got a few to beat. Good tackle on him. Holds him up. Tanner to the pocket. And it looks like Sydney's had its chance. In the last 10 seconds of the game. Right half forward for Geelong. 11-14 to 10-15. Gary Ablett's been the man, hasn't he, at the end with two late goals. And the, remember that he also got the kick to Minch from the throw-in. So he's made a big difference, Ablett, in the last 15 minutes of this game. Well held by Gray, but has been able to turn it on late. And Geelong are going to get away with this. Lead has changed hands 15 times in this match. And that's it. Geelong have won by five points against the Sydney Swans.